Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this screencast in which we are going to talk about the basics of uh, covered interest arbitrage. For that purpose, we have defined a few variables here. S is our spot rate. F is our one period ahead forward rate. Uh, then we have been um, given the nominal rate of interest in the US and the nominal interest rate in the Eurozone. We are going to assume M dollars as this, uh, mm, let's not say dollars, just say M as the starting amount of money. And then we have some data to fill into these variables. The spot rate at the moment is 2 euros to a dollar. The forward rate one period ahead is going to be 1.8 euros to a dollar. The rate of interest in the US is 10% and the rate of interest in the Eurozone is 5%. So let us see how the covered interest arbitrage works. Let us assume uh, in the beginning that our home country is the US. So we are going to focus on this section of this table for now. Assuming US as the home country and also assuming that our starting amount of money is $100, let us examine two alternatives. Number one, what is going to be your payoff if you invest your money at home? If you invest your money at home, what you are going to do is you are going to invest $100 at home and since the rate of interest in the US is 10%, so what is going to happen is that after the end of one period you are going to end up with $110. But if you want to invest abroad now, the second alternative, this one, you are going to have to first of all convert your starting amount of money, that is $100, into euros at the spot rate. So let us do that conversion. Let's look at what is the spot rate. Spot rate is given to us 2 euros to a dollar. And since we want to convert our dollars to euros, we are going to have to multiply because we are moving from the denominator currency to the numerator currency. So multiply what? $100. That is the amount to be uh, converted. Multiply by what? By the exchange rate, which is 2. So you are going to have with you 200, 200 euros. What are we going to do with these 200 euros? We are going to invest these euros at the rate of interest in the eurozone, which is given to us 5%. So let us do that. Um, 200 euros invested at the rate of 5% are going to give us at the end of one period 210 euros. And uh, what are we going to do with these 210 euros? Since we assumed US as our home country, we are going to bring this money back to our country at the forward rate. What is the forward rate? Um, the forward rate is given to us here, 1.8 euros to a dollar. And what do we want to do? We want to convert our euros that we made in the eurozone back to dollars. So we are moving from the numerator currency to the denominator currency. So that is why we are going to have to divide. Divide what? 210 and divide by what? by 1.8 and that is going to give you 116.67 dollars and if you look at the result if you invested at home that is in US you made 110 dollars and if you invest abroad that is in Eurozone you end up with 116.67 dollars so you make some extra money in taking your money abroad so therefore the conclusion for this alternative is to invest abroad. Now typically foreign exchange traders do not have a particular home country. They, they um, uh, want to start from a currency where they see the uh, that there's going to be a benefit. So for a moment let's also assume that somebody wants to start with Eurozone, assuming Eurozone as the home country and let us also give this gentleman or lady the same starting amount but in their currency. So we start with 100 euros and our home currency or home country is the Eurozone. So uh, let us invest these 100 euros at home. So if we invest 100 euros at home for one period, what is going to happen? At the end of one period, we are going to end up with 100 times what is the interest rate in the, uh, in the um, Eurozone? It was 5%. So what are we going to end up with here? is uh, 105 euros and now if this gentleman or lady wants to take this money abroad 
they don't want to invest 100, 100 euros in the eurozone or rather they want to take it to the US and invest it there then they will have to first of all convert these 100 euros into dollars so let us do the first step convert 100 dollars to euros uh, so, uh, convert 100 euros to dollars at the spot rate what is the spot rate 2 euros to a dollar and what are we converting we are converting euros which is the numerator currency to dollars which is the denominator currency so we will have to divide divide what divide the amount to be converted 100 by the spot rate so we are going to end up with 50 dollars here now what do we do with these 50 dollars we invest these 50 dollars at the rate of interest in the US which is 10% so that is going to give us how much money at the end of one period you invest $50 and at the rate of 10% rate of interest so at the end of one period you are going to end up with $55 now what to do with these $55 because we have assumed Eurozone to be our home in this section of the analysis so once we have made $55 here, we now want to take them back to our home zone, that is the Eurozone, and that conversion will be done at the forward rate. Let us do that. Uh, $55 need, uh, need to be converted at the forward rate, which is 1.8 euros to a dollar. What do we want to convert? Euros to dollars. So we are going to uh, uh, what do we want to convert? We want to convert to dollars to euros, sorry, and uh, so therefore we are going to have to multiply 55 by 1.8 here, and that is going to give us uh, 99 euros. So what we observe here is that we start with 100 euros and we are ending up with 99 euros, and also if we compare this payoff with the alternative of investing at home, you make 105 euros at home and you make only 99 um, euros by taking your money to the US first and then bringing it back at the forward rate. So the conclusion in this case is invest at home.